Frankie King did not have a typical wedding day. 77 years ago, at the height of World War II, her high school sweetheart Royce became her fiance. He also joined the Air Force and was moved to a base in Illinois. He got a short leave. They had been engaged about six months, mom said. So they decided to have a wedding before he was employed overseas. So they only had a couple of days notice, which is why they didn't have time to shop and fit a wedding dress. So she wore a long white gown that she already had and dad wore his Air Force uniform. Royce came home to Iowa to marry his bride. They had no photographer, she had no wedding gown, but they had the most important thing, love. The couple went on to have two children, four grandchildren, and seven great-grandchildren. And at 97 and 98, Frankie and Royce are now receiving care from St. Croix Hospice. And when a caretaker found out they didn't have photos from their wedding, she was inspired to do something about it. St. Croix planned for the couple to take wedding photos with Frankie in her first wedding dress, 77 years after she tied the knot. It was really sweet and touching how she looked at herself in the gown and we talked about how beautiful she was and she was saying, should I wear my glasses or not? I didn't have glasses that day and I said, oh, you know, go ahead and wear your glasses. You're just beautiful this way. And um, yeah, she felt very, very honored and special to be wearing such a gorgeous dress. She thought it was the most beautiful dress. Royce agreed. Dressed in his original Air Force uniform, he waited to get his first look at his bride. Removed the handkerchief from Dad's eyes and asked him if he was ready to see his bride. And, and uh, he just gazed at her and just beamed. They both did. It was very sweet. They may not have photos of their original wedding, but they still have memories tucked away in their hearts. I think it was very touching and very moving. I could just tell by dad's reaction of how, how he was touched to see mom in such a beautiful gown standing in front of him. And I think it didn't take much for them to be transported back. And I think they were, they were very moved by that. Caitlin O'Kane for The Uplift.